I'm here with Steve Nicholson, Chief Football Writer of the Derby Telegraph, after the Rams' 2 all draw against Norwich City. Steve, what did you make of that? I think the first thing we've got to say is a good point, all things considered, and it was an, it's important today that you take everything into account with this game. Uh, they've had a tough week, Derby. Steve McLaren said in the Derby Telegraph that this was the toughest week of the season so far, and he knew it would be all hands to the pump today. They lost at Middlesbrough a week ago, played very poorly. They had a very, very difficult game against Chelsea in midweek. That was really draining mentally and physically. And Steve McLaren knew today would be tough. And you can see that in his reaction today. He spent more time in the technical area than he probably has done all season. He was running up and down. He was having to be told to go back into his technical area. He was almost kicking every ball and wanted to take a pair of boots down at one stage. So it was always going to be that type of afternoon. Derby didn't play well. They dug in, they had to dig in because they could easily have lost the game. Uh, they got themselves in front twice, but they were never in control of the game, so he never felt comfortable. And actually, in the end, you know, Norwich could easily have won the game. I thought Cameron Jerome had a great chance at the end, which would have made it 3-2. And no one can argue that Norwich deserved a point, and they probably deserved all three on the day. But you can't always play well in this division. You're going to have to scrap for points at some stage. And Derby won't be able to play flowing football every week. It's not possible. And they haven't actually played like that for a number of weeks now, apart from the open 20 minutes against Brighton. So I think all in all, it's a good point. And I say you quickly move on. Steve McLeod said there were probably 1,001 mistakes. And when you get a game like that, you've got to move on. And hopefully the players' confidence remains OK. Because at the moment, there's just one or two players out there, two or three players whose confidence looks to have dipped to me. And as I say, a defeat here would have actually made it worse for them, so the point in the end was a decent one. Norwich tipped for promotion by a lot of people at the start of the season. Yeah. Thoughts on them? Well, I actually tipped them to go up automatically, you know, because I, I looked at the squad and I thought they've, they've, got, they've got a very decent squad. They had a good start to the season, they topped the division. They then went on a, an awful run of one, def- uh, one win in ten, I think. And now they've won two of the last three and drawn here. I think what we need to look at, I mean, Derby have got a good squad as well. Uh, and the one or two teams in this division got good squads. But the three subs who came on for Norwich today really made an impact for them. And uh, I think they look a strong side. They're capable of going on a run. So again, all in all today, I think Derby would have to be kind of contempt with the point. A couple of injury concerns for Derby? Yeah, there are. Uh, Jeff Hendrick looked a bit in some discomfort when he walked off at half-time, so he was always going to be replaced uh, by Will Hughes. Uh, and Craig Bryson came off in the second half. They've both got strains. I might be wrong here. I think one is a calf. I think maybe Craig Bryson, the middle one, I'm not sure, groin or something like that. So, you know, with Boxing Day match next, you just got to be a bit careful with that derby. And with John Eustace out at the moment also, and Jamie Ward's sidelined, starting to look a little bit thin. You know, maybe with January coming up, that's something Steve McLaren, Sam Bush and, and Chris Evans need to think about. I'm sure they've thought about it already. Uh, but uh, yeah, two a couple more injuries today. It's not really what Derby wanted, but at the moment, as I say, they're just getting through games. They're not doing well. They're not playing particularly well. It's not fluent. But the key is to get through games, keep picking up a point and three here and there until you get over this kind of period.